Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play FTL. I took a quick break after the last video to uh, see what the sound levels were like in the recording. Apparently it was too fucking loud, so I had to adjust that. Hopefully everything's a lot better now for, uh, your, for you. <laughs> you can hear me just as much as you can hear the game's volume and music. Um, anyways, last time I did the tutorial, this time we're going to start a new game. And so we're clear. I haven't actually played this game myself yet. I've seen videos of people playing it, and that's about it. <laughs> so, I'm not going in completely blind, because I have, you know, experience from watching other people play it, but this is my first time actually playing it. So, anyways, let's get started. New game. Ah, so, you start off with just this ship. Later on in the game, you unlock more ships. Um... Well, this one's fine. I've seen people beat the game with this one, so... I don't see why we can't. Uh, start off with an Artemis missile launcher, a burst laser. Um, this is going to be good for getting through the shields of enemy ships, and it's going to be good for doing hull damage once we get through the shields. I'm going to play an easy, because I suck. Um, let's see here. You can customize crew, rename the ship. Let's rename the ship. Um, I think it's only appropriate that we name it TOG-1. There we go. So this would be the TOG-1. Obviously it'll be a part of a family of TOGs by the end of this playthrough anyway. <laughs> Rename the crew. We got Hasifa, Narth, and Mr. Booga. Booga. Mr. Popo! So, I don't really like these names. I'm gonna rename them. Okay, so apparently we have the option between big shoulders, no shoulders. I guess that's man, woman. Guy with like slightly green hair and front. whatever. It's nothing to do with the game. Let's rename you. Um, what should I name you? Uh, no. <laughs> Ten minutes later. I know. I mean, you grumpy. That's fine. I will need... Nar... Nar... What? Nartholus. Okay, so his name wasn't just Narth, I was just shortening it. Name you happy. And we'll name you Mr. Booga. Mr. Popo! To, uh, Sleepy. There we go. So we got the captain, Grumpy. Uh, his second officer, Happy, and then uh, the third mate, Sleepy. There we go. We, well, we need to have a woman. Might as well make Sleepy the woman. Makes sense, right? Okay, so nothing else can really change here. Um, let's get started. Yeah. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. I don't know why I'm talking like this, by the way. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Hotkeys. You can charge or arm weapons using number hotkeys. The weapon slots are... Well, we already learned this in the uh, tutorial. The didn't, tutorial didn't go over drones, though. Drones are 5 through 7, so you can get 3 drones. Customize one of the weapons. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Uh, crew. Grumpy's the pilot. That's fine. Happy you can be the engineer. Sleepy, you can be the, uh, the gunner. Or the loader, rather. you think that, well, I guess she just handles the uh, Well, what does that actually do? So, I know that makes us have more evasion. What does having that do? 10% faster charge. Okay, so we just reload faster by having a gunner? I guess that would mean the shields come up faster if we have a guy in the shield room. Okay, that's fine. So, what can I do with my 30 scrap right off the bat? Um, I want a full part of the engines. Um, I can only power one weapon at a time right now, so I guess I should have... Do this one. And I can't afford anything else. But that's fine. And I can power all of the weapons. Ha ha ha. All of the things. Okay. Well, let's make our first jump and cross our fingers and our toes and hope for the best. I think we'll go like this. We'll go here, and then we'll just kind of 
bounce off all these different uh, systems. Bounce it. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass, bro mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yes, we'll respond. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less competent, incompetent captain to investigate. Um, well, if I accept this, I could get some good rewards, I'm assuming, or scrap at the very least. If I decline, uh, I can just keep going my way. But I'm guessing that I'm going to have to go past wherever... I need to investigate anyway, so I, I'll just accept it, whatever. Uh, at least you're confident for what little that's worth. Here is their last known location. Added a quest marker to your map. Okay. Um, nothing else we can do here, so let's just jump. Yeah, see, it was, it was kind of on the way. I don't think I can jump from here to there, though, so we'll just go to... Hmm. This one I need help. I got 15 fuel, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm wondering, should I just go straight there, or should I just kind of jump around? We'll jump around, I guess. We got time, maybe. Maybe. Hopefully the distress beacon doesn't go away after you jump first, uh, if you avoid it. You arrive in the system to see a pirate pursuing a civilian ship. You detect messages from the civilian ship on a distress frequency. All right, well, we are part of the Federation of Planets. Um... It is in the Charter of the Federation that we will defend all civilian traffic. Aid the civilian ship. You power your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Hmm. Okay, let's... Are we paused yet? No, now we're paused. Okay. Um, so they got some shields, but it looks like our burst laser will overpower them because it fires three lasers and they only have one shield, so they'll absorb at least one. Um, target their shields with the missile. And we'll target their weapons with the laser. Go. Come on, big money. Big money. Here we go. Fire everything. Nice. Alright. Uh, focus on the shields now. Their weapons are offline. They're probably repairing them now, though. That's okay. We'll save the missile. Yep. That's offline. Let's put another shot into that because they're starting to repair them. Oh, they resisted. Wow. Rock Scout. I wonder if Rock have a. Uh, in... They just have ships with stronger resistance, maybe, than other uh, civilizations. The pirate ship breaks apart. We hasten to contact the ship. So we got a missile, a drone part, and 25 scrap, scrap out of that. Contact the civilian ship. Uh, this sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your hull damage as thanks. Yeah, well, we were at full health, so thanks for nothing, I guess. We did get some more scrap, though. Um, what should we upgrade now? Let's see. Get more power. Um, more shields would be nice. Engines is a little cheaper. In any case, though, I'm going to need power for any changes I make, so I should get power first, right? Right. We'll get power and engines, I think. No, you know what? We're doing fine right now. We don't need to upgrade yet. We'll wait off on that. We'll just keep going. Oh, this trust beacon's still there. Okay, so we'll go here, then there, then there. Sounds good to me. Let's go. The nearby planet shows sign shows sign of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning! Quarantine level 5 in effect under FHA Act 22. Article 11.2. Warning. Quarantine level 5. Okay. So that's a thing, I guess. Well, I'm glad we experienced that. Oh my god, they're chasing us, but there's a distress beacon. Someone might need help. Who needs help? You locate the source of the distress call, a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread vir virulently among the workers. They're trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement, and a riot seems likely. Let's see here. Do we go with 
Paragon option or the Renegade option? Hmm. 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 Well, send in your crew to help control the crowds. Could lose a crew member doing something like that, I assume. I don't think it's worth it. We're just going to keep going. Unfortunately, your mission is too important and you're not willing to risk your crew. Yeah, see? You're going to move on. I don't see the I don't see what I get out of losing a crew member. I get some scrap, yeah, for losing a crewman. Mm, I don't see the point. Crew are more important than the scrap, I feel. Anyways, we're moving on. So the quest is there now. The thing is, is that can I go from here to there? I don't think I can. So I'm just gonna keep going this way. I think Federation is starting to catch up with me now, so I can't start. I can't dilly dally like that. You find a rubble automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Attempt to download the ship's data stores. Don't risk activating it. Just strip the ship for any useful scrap. What do I get for doing this? Let's find out. You're able to pull all the ship's data about this sector. Your map has been updated. Okay. What did that do? Oh. Possible ship detected. Asteroid field detected. Okay, there's a store here. All right, maybe we'll go there next. Oh, I have to finish my quest now, though. Can I backtrack in time? I don't really have a lot of scrap, so I don't think I need to go to the store, actually. That's near a sun. Okay, we'll just go to the quest. We'll finish this up. Find this freighter. You arrive at the last known location of the merchant's delivery. You begin to scan for the lost ship. You find a severely damaged ship floating among debris. The crew hails you. I can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone after us. I thought we would freeze to death. If you help us complete the delivery, we'll share the reward and join your crew. Really? Promise to deliver the crew cargo and ask if anyone would be interested in joining your crew. Take the cargo, but drop them off at a nearby station. Um, I like the idea of having more crew. They upload the delivery destination once on board. One takes you up on your offer, the rest you drop off at a nearby station. Add a quest marker to your map. Sweet. Um, hold on. What are you? You're a mantis. The mantis disregard for individual lives led to their evolution as a vicious warrior race. Double damage in combat. 1.2 times move speed and have repair speed. Okay, so they're not very good at fixing shit, but they're good at repelling borders? And they move fast. Okay. Um, you can be our shield dude, I guess. Because you don't have a shield dude. Well, you can be the shield bug, rather. Anyways, moving on. Um, where are we going next? We gotta go there. That's near the exit. I could still go back to the store. Hmm. Is it worth it, though? I can't really afford anything. I only got 45 scrap. Um, so I'm gonna need help. There's a puzzle ship detected. We'll go here. Avoid the shit store for now. There will be plenty of stores later. You arrive at the beacon and immediately detect a pirate ship. It seems its distress beacon was a trap. It's a trap! Oh, they got a... What's this? Enemy combat drone. Repeatedly attacks your ship. Can be shut down by damaging the enemy ship's drone system. Okay, but they have shields. Well, my burst laser can overpower their shields. And with this, I can target their drone. Makes sense to me. Let's do it. Oh my god, he's shooting our shield, but he can't get through the shield. I'm guessing that just directly damages the hull. Oh fuck. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. Um, so the drone's offline. That's good. Uh, their shields, they can still repair. They can also still fire weapons at us. So, I'll tell you what. We'll fire the missile at the shields, and we'll have the lasers shoot at the weapon system. And I'll drink some of my coffee. That should do it. Oh, you missed. Keep those shields off, man. Well, <laughs> as long as these three shots don't miss. There we go. Okay, the ship explodes, leaving behind a sub substantial collection of useful scrap material. So I got some fuel out of that, a drone part. I don't have any drones yet, though. And scrap. Great. I could upgrade the ship some more, but I don't have to yet. I suppose I could start focusing on engines and shit. No. You know what? No. 
I'll save up as much scrap as I can until I get to a store and then buy stuff and then upgrade the ship after that. I think buying upgrades for the ship is more important than upgrading the systems at the start, maybe. Later on that'll come important. Become important. We'll see. Uh, let's go to the quest. You find the station that had ordered your cargo. You drop it off and they respond, ignoring the fact that this is days late. We really appreciate that you delivered our materials. We realize how dangerous this sector is these days. Take this as payment. An anti-personnel drone. Where is that? Equipment? Anti-personnel drone. We'll seek out and attempt to destroy any intruders on board your ship. Well, that's cool. Requires two power. I also need the drone system installed. I don't have that yet. See, that's what the scrap is for. You see? I could have the power for that, but it'd be useless because I don't have the drone system. And you need scrap to buy that stuff. Okay, let's jump to the... Um, we'll go here. We'll, we'll, we'll squeeze as much as we can out of this sector before we move on, I think. Not in too much of a hurry. Another unmanned... Ship patrols this area. You prepare the ship for combat. Our ship or their ship? Okay. They have no shields at all, so we don't need to use the missile launcher. We'll just focus on their weapons. A lot of fire, too. Oh! Oh, shit! Put the fire out! I hope you don't need help in there. How come this? Oh, cause ha, 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 ha. Whoops. Draken is stupid, everybody. I can still fire a missile, can't I? Ah, uh, let's do that. Ah, you missed. Get those weapons back online. Okay. That's damaged. That's great. Uh, Happy, you go fix that. Sleepy, you go fix that and heal. You stay here. Keep those weapons firing. Please don't miss. Thank you. We're not going to fire another missile. We'll wait till the laser is back online. There we go. Please kill this son of a bitch. Okay, who are you again? You're the engine person. Sleepy is the weapon person. Are you fully healed? Yeah, you're fully healed. And you need to heal as well. We also need to fix that at some point. I want to kill them first. You missed every shot! What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. How can you miss? How can you miss? Uh, you need to heal. Because you walked through there. Oh, I don't know. That's the thing. Okay, how about... No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Happy, happy, come back. Both you guys go in there and fix that shit. Well, that kind of sucked. God damn. And there's no oxygen in there either. That's great. Well, I guess that makes sense because the hole was breached. Man, that scout kicked my ass. This friggin' burst laser didn't want to hit that shit, I guess. Oh well. Engines, weapons. I got a lot of scrap now, though. That's good. Okay. Um, yeah, that should be enough oxygen, I think. It's replenishing very slowly now, though. I guess the closer it gets to 100%, the slower it replenishes, maybe? Or if I do this, does it replenish faster? I'm not gonna worry about it. It's not very... That's not an important section of the ship, I don't think. Turn auto fire off and let's jump. Um, they're gonna cover this next, so I can still go here and then exit. Do I want to go to the distress beacon? We'll go for the distress beacon. Somebody can need our help. And the rebels aren't here yet. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a small, a single life form. <laughs> Um, no. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, so that was kind of a waste. Uh, let's go here. What's up? 
You discover one of the rebels' autonomous scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. Okay. Oops. It starts to power up its FTL. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay. So, we gotta take out their engines first, I assume. Um... We'll fire a missile at that, and we'll fire the lasers at their weapons. Do it. Oh, they disabled the weapons. Well, that's, that's great. Still got the... Well, they can't escape now. Their engines are offline. And we still get our missiles online. We are running very low on missiles now, though. Okay. Just finish them off. Don't... No. Okay. Gunner. Sleepy. Don't fuck this up this time. Every single shot. At least one of them has to hit. There we go. Good job, Sleepy. Good job. You're doing a good job. Their ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Yeah. Barely a step ahead of them. We're running low on missiles, by the way. Uh, let's get to the exit. Hopefully there aren't any rebels waiting for us here. Ah, oh, there aren't. Good. Okay. You've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There is a black market hub here. You received a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. <laughs> I need the missiles. Sorry. I don't. I can't even sell you the basic amount. So, I'll have to pass you up on that one, I'm afraid, sir. Alright, let's go to the next sector. Civilian sector. Rocket control sector. So... We got a bunch of... Okay. So here I'm guessing there's more stores. Here I'm guessing there's a bunch of get fucked. Because that's red and it's hostile. And it leads to more red. Um, this leads to a lot of nebulas later on. But then there's some civilian places at the end there. You know, we'll go to the civilian sector. Alright. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing ripples catch you. But we'll save that for the next video. I'm going to cut the video here. Um, I'm thinking that I'll cut the video at every uh, new sector that we get to. Seems like a good place to cut each one. Uh, anyways, hope you, you like this so far. Uh, there'll be more videos to come. And uh, thanks for watching.